Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice, and today we're going to talk about the secret to not getting sick. And the answer is don't touch your face. So people generally love to touch their face. If you watch people, they're touching their face, they're rubbing their nose, they're playing with their lips, they're touching their eyes on a regular basis. Uh, they did a study, they looked at children, basically just watched the kids play and counted how many times they touched their face. And about six or eight times an hour, kids will touch their face uh, when they're playing or just doing normal activities. So what happens is, is you come into contact with germs in the environment and you actually are inoculating yourself or putting those germs on your face and in your nose when you're touching your face. They did a study, they looked at a infection called RSV, respiratory syncytial virus, and it's a very, very bad cold. When little babies or kids get it, they end up in the hospital. They're so congested and full of mucus they can't breathe and sometimes need hospitalization. It's a very contagious infection. So they had two groups of children in the hospital over the winter. The first group of kids, everybody that came and visited the kids, they wore masks and gowns and they did their normal visit, but they had a mask and a gown on. So if the kid was coughing on you, you didn't theoretically breathe in the germs because you had a mask on. The second group of kids, they actually let people go in without any protective clothing, no masks, but they had a sink in the room and everybody after they left the room was asked to wash their hands. They did a follow-up on the visitors of the two groups of people to see who got sick with this RSV infection and the people who actually washed their hands got sick much less often than the people who wore a mask in the room. So you would think a lung infection, a coughing infection would be spread by coughing and actually it turns out it was more importantly spread by hand to face contact. This is my secret, I know it's true, because I'm in a room all day with sick people. They're coughing on me, flu, colds, all kinds of respiratory infections, but I don't get sick on a regular basis, even though I'm breathing in their air all day long. And the answer is, is I don't touch my face. Now, I wash my hands on a regular basis. I use the alcohol gel to disinfect, but the problem is, is literally 30 seconds after I wash my hands, I touch a doorknob, I touch a pen, I touch a computer mouse, somebody shakes my hand. Uh, I'm getting germs all the time so I can't literally wash my hands 500 times a day to keep every germ off of my hand but what I don't do is I don't touch my face. If my nose itches I will use my shoulder and rub it and it may be a little bit impolite to do that but I know my shoulders cleaner it hasn't touched anybody or anything and I'll use a tissue if I have to uh, but I don't touch my face. What you can do at home is play what I call the face game. And what that is, is you watch other people in the household and when you catch them touching their face or their nose, they owe you a dollar, they owe you a chore, uh, some type of a point system. And pretty soon everybody in the house is reminding everybody when they touch their face to not do it because it costs you a dollar. And you're also, when you're going to touch your face, you, you say, I'm not going to touch my face because I don't want to owe somebody a dollar. Eventually you'll get in the habit and you'll you'll know not to touch your face and the game will actually get boring at home So then you spread the game to the general public and when you guys are out at the store or somewhere Visiting you get points for noticing somebody else who's not involved in the game touching their face so hand to face contact the most important source more than coughing more than breathing more than sneezing uh, but actual contact so the face game it works great it is absolutely my key to success don't touch your face don't get sick in the winter time dr greg castello board certified family practice thanks